Okay, this is the last episode before the fall season finale of Heroes Reborn. As a mouthful. This one was called Bloody Sunday. So as you know, Noah went back in time, but he did things which made butterfly effects that appeared to have affected maybe two characters that we know of. So he finally ends up getting a hold of, of Nathan, Tommy. So Nathan, Tommy now knows that his powers are similar to that of heroes, that he can stop time and he can teleport. Okay, great. He goes to meet with his girlfriend. He's like, yeah, I can do all these great things. Oh, hey, you, you spied you eye this when we were in Paris. Here you go. Boom, there's your item. You know, he, he now knows he has to save the world. Thinks he might know kind of how to do it. But things kind of go somewhat south. Because Milana, or Melina, it's kind of hard to do. I don't see her name very often. This was the one who was with Luke. The one who's on the, the dead set to kill all the other heroes. She ends up finding Ice Cream Girl. They call Nathan Tommy. So we want you here. So you have Nathan Tommy. Penny for your thoughts, dude. Then Luke shows up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. So this is where it gets confused where you have a bunch of characters they really don't say their names very often. Luke and Melina were in the car when you had uh, the woman who wanted to kill everybody was there with the ice cream girl. <sighs> this show just has way too many characters and they try to throw everyone together for just like one big moment. And of course, Nathan Tommy stops time. Funny for your thoughts, guys, dies. The guy who replicates himself ends up finding the woman who wants to kill all the EOs, and they kind of join forces. <sighs> Erica's daughter's dyed her hair red. That's how you escape somebody who has the ability to look at almost every single camera all over the world is by dyeing your hair red. She gets taken in by the Haitians group. The Haitians group is trying to hunt down uh, the, the leader of of the EO of the EO's rebels. That's Micah. Remember Micah? You know. They give you the very quick snaps, here's his powers. Yeah. Remember the Carlos storyline? He was the guy who, who his, his brother was El Vengador. He died. And then they ended up kidnapping the, the, the priest who could turn gaseous. As well as his nephew had the ability to put his hand through solid material. And then he found the other guy who was the cop who was also an Evo. Was hunting other Evos. Well, they finally kind of finished their plot. They go to where all the Evos are being stored. That's Parkman. Parkman's pretty using his abilities to control the minds. Well, to suggest. Heavily suggest. So it's a prison where there are no windows, there are no bars, there are no walls. It's a prison of the mind. Okay. That's good. Noah is with Nathan Tommy, and they're trying to escape to get with. Melina, so then they can try to save the world, but that's then when it gets revealed to Noah that Quentin is with his sister Phoebe, and they've been working with Renatus this whole time. He's like, oh, You're the butterfly. Which went, they then steal, they then kidnap Nathan Tommy, take Nathan Tommy to meet Erica. And then Phoebe uses her power to kind of encapsulate the area in darkness. We then jump forward. Almost 8,000 years. To show that... show that Miko is still alive and she's walking towards some sort of solar-powered building. It really kind of felt like they easily should have cut one storyline. Like, the Carl storyline really felt like it was going nowhere. It, it's still a thing. You find out what his deep dark secret is, and it's like, oh, okay. So he was in war, and things got hectic, and he, he froze. Okay, I kind of gathered that. 
felt like it was a it, it was a character to add to it to be like, hmm, we're looking too monochromatic. Let's throw in this character, who at this point in time doesn't have any real connection to your main characters, who we just recently got their names a little while ago, found all their backstories. So the one that had to call him Nathan. If he has the ability to take the power of somebody else, wouldn't he be Peter? It's still an entertaining show. I think that now that we've hit that point where it's like, oh, how much? How much? How much, how much we have one episode? Oh crap! Uh, we need to start getting set pieces together and killing people. So. It's still good, but it's it's gotten to the point where it's getting it's starting to collapse under its own weight. It started with too many storylines. They've only really tended to result one. They've introduced additional multiple storylines. <laughs> they might have kind of resolved two, but now we're hitting a, a mid-season finale. We're gonna have a lot. A lot of dangling plot lines.